Hey friends, welcome to a snowy day here in Colorado. Perfect day for a little fat tire snow biking. We're using the Mongoose Argus series for bikes today. We've got a couple of different models to check out. Thankfully, I've got a couple of guest stars with me today. My wife, Laura, who's gonna be riding the Argus Trail Edition of this fat tire bike. And then I have my brother, Chris, who's with me. He's gonna be riding the Argus Sport. We're gonna show you the difference between the two bikes. Most importantly, we're gonna go out there and have some fun. Now, Laura is still in the beginning stages of fat tire biking. She's been a handful of times, but this is her first bike that she's ever owned. We're gonna see if it works great for her skill level. So my brother, Chris, has brought his trusty dog, Berea, and he is going to be riding the Argus Sport today. Obviously, this is a little bit more advanced fat tire bike. Some great features that we'll take a closer look at. Again, this is great for his skill level as he's already had a couple of seasons of fat tiring under his belt. Here we go! Good therapy! By the way, we've been riding the Mongoose full face helmets. These are available on their website or on Amazon and they kick butt. I especially like them here in the snow. It offers a little more protection around your ears and face just to add some extra warmth. Okay, so for the final test, I'm actually gonna compare these side by side. First up is the Argus Trail. We're gonna take it for a quick spin, POV style with my brother in back, and then we'll switch it up to the Argus Sport. Okay, so let's talk about our findings, starting with the Argus Trail. The Argus Trail is gonna be a really great entry-level mountain bike for most riders. My wife agrees. The medium-sized frame offered great geometry for her. She felt really comfortable. The two by eight drivetrain was just enough speeds to keep her going on the flowy trails that we were riding. The big four inch tires offered her great stability. Again, you do need to feel that extra comfort when you're on slippery trails. And the micro shift gearing and components offered her smooth shifting ability. All of us really liked the graphics and the army green paint scheme that this specific bike comes with. Now, my brother and I being more advanced riders agreed that it was a good entry level bike but we needed a few things to be a little bit different for our comfort level first we thought the mechanical brakes really needed a lot more stopping power this was a bit rough for us once we got up to speed on some of the tight corners my wife didn't have a problem with lower speeds but again as soon as we got up to really nice powerful riding it really felt like these were lacking now I think straight from the factory, you could probably dial these in just a little bit better to offer some stopping power. But again, that was a bit of a complaint for us. Now the other small complaint that we had was the width of these bars. Honestly, we really, really like nice wide bars, especially for downhill control. These felt just a touch too narrow. Again, my wife didn't notice at all. She's used to riding handlebars. They're just a little bit shorter. But for us coming from those really wide bars on our other bikes, it felt a little bit too cramped. So let's quickly talk about all of the features that can be found on the Argus Sport. The Argus Sport features a one by 10 drivetrain. Now this is plenty of gears. It also features really nice wide handlebars. 
that give you that downhill control. You're gonna find high-end Shimano shifters and a rear derailleur, as well as great Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. One of our favorite features is actually the internal routing that this bike includes. It just gives the bike an overall cleaner feel and look. There you go, friends. That is our quick review of the Mongoose Argus Trail, as well as the Mongoose Argus Sport side-by-side. -side. Again, if you have room in your budget, definitely go for that Argus Sport. It was our favorite of the bunch. But if you're just an entry-level rider and you're looking for a budget bike that will get you into the fat tire scene, well, we really recommend the trail version of the bike as well. Hope this has helped. Stick around. We got a ton more bike reviews coming up. We'll see you again on the next one.